Hi. Hey. We're trying out the newest, latest and greatest Beauty Counter Plus mask number two today. With oil and spritz. What do you call it? Spray. Spritz. Spray. Face spray? Face, Face spray. spritz? Spritz sounds fancier. Anyway, number two. It's the plumping line. That's right. Plumping. It's not something you usually think about, you know, we all work so hard to... Want me to look at this or show the you The mask this? and the mist are both plumping and peony, and the face oil is plumping and jasmine. So, right. Yeah. So the, the face oil is actually a new packaging on the hydrating face oil that you know and love. The jasmine scented... Which one was uh, it? Number two, the no, hydrating. Oh, the hydrating one. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. I like this yeah. one. Cool. Here. So again, we're using the... Uh, no, go first. No, go ahead. First. No, put no. it on. Do it. I'm slower. Do it. That's why you should go first. We're using a <laughs> flat foundation brush so I can do my... to apply the mask. I hope it goes a lot farther. And you can be a lot more specific when you're doing your designs as well. That's right. Which yeah. is, I think, the important thing. Designs are so important. Yeah. It also helps if you're doing a combination of masks. If, for example, you needed the number three mask in your T-zone, if you had a, an oily T-zone or you had problem areas, and then wanted to plump along the eyes and cheekbones, then you could put the number three mask in your T-zone and the number two mask along the sides. That's clever. Yeah. So make sure you get the whole set so you can do that. Right. Well, yeah. this one seems thinner. The consistency is thinner? Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't, it doesn't paint as thick. If you're painting a wall with this, you're going to have to do a lot more coats than you would with the other ones. Is what I'm discovering. Right. And if you're painting a wall with this, it means you have FU money. <laughs> <laughs> You're clearly wasting it on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you're painting a wall with it, we've got to talk about yeah. how you're spending your time and money. <laughs> because I have some ideas on yeah. how you can change that up. <laughs> I've got tons of ideas as yeah, well. Yeah, tons of ideas. Even if you don't, contact us. We've got uses for your money. So plumping, it does have rye oil. Um, meaning if you are celiac, or you have issues with um, gluten intolerance, it might be okay. But of course, yeah, because in the make... oil, you don't know. Like the oil, oil there... shouldn't. In theory, it wouldn't necessarily contain the proteins, but it depends on what their process is. So yeah, potentially, if you gotta be worried about those things, then. Keep that in mind. I'm gonna put a little extra right here in this like this frown crease that I get. I've been a manager for most of my adult life, so my frown crease is quite pronounced. <laughs> Instead of having kids, you have your professional kids. That's right. Yeah. My family at home or my family at work. The plumping one. Oh yeah, that's probably good for wrinkles and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah, exactly. That makes sense. So for all you parents, or those who look after adult children like myself, no way. That are sucking I'm, the moisture from your skin and I'm aging. not looking after people. I am the adult child. Never mind. You're an adult child? Yeah. I got a man, man child? Man, man child? Isn't that... Yeah, I, that's a thing. That's I think, but like I, Phil Dunphy. <laughs> <laughs> Phil Dunphy wanna be anyway. Personal yeah. hero. Anyway, um, I'm getting kind of dry. So uh, you wanna turn the mist me up? Do I? <laughs> With the plumping peony. Da. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah, uh, sure. It smells very floral. Like I'll just wait till you hit me with it. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> How's it feel? Feels lovely. Such a nice little, it's such a nice so mist, nice. like walking by the ocean and. But with peonies. Yeah. That's lovely. <laughs> Yeah, I forgot to do the leg. The little. So that I can face into it? Yeah. I'm surprised by how much I like the face mist, because when I, when I first got my first sample, when I first got my first sample, when I first got my, yeah, that's right. Seems like a lot of firsts. Of the, uh, the nourishing rose water mist, I thought, what am I going to use this for? Who likes this stuff? Who likes being sprayed in the face? But now I've gone through, not just in samples, but for using my rose water mist and purchased a new one. So, so I like it. How's the mask feel? Are you tingling a little bit? Yeah, not as much as the number one, but um, yeah, there's some tinglage for sure. Maybe I'm allergic to it. Here we go. So now the favorite part, my favorite part, this is my favorite part, face oils have changed my life. Well, yeah. They've changed my face, I feel. I feel that's an accurate statement, actually. So the recommended usage is three to four drops. I've, I use two, just a little bit. And if I'm adding it to a moisturizer, I just add one. It smells a little bit different than the balancing, I think. What did we say this was? This is jasmine. the number two, yeah, the jasmine. Or the hydrating. Getting it specifically where my smile lines grow and where my frown lines grow. It's so, my skin is so soft, it's so soft. You remember the first time I did the, the beauty counter mask? I do. Did we, did we do that one on Facebook Live? We did a Facebook Live, yeah. That was the one? That was that the was one. That was the first time? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Way off the camera. Yeah. 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 But, but we did like a... the next like hour after we recorded that one, I was just like, holy cow! My face is so soft and smooth. <laughs> Have you touched this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And he's not the only one. My five year old niece uh, was telling everyone at school. She did a beauty counter charcoal mask with, with my girlfriend Sharice and was <laughs> telling everyone how smooth her face was and she highly recommended the charcoal mask. I do believe I actually got a couple sales out of that. <laughs> so thank you, Mia. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> cool. Uh, that's all right? I think that's it, yeah. All right, sweet. Thanks. Ciao. thing on it so that you know that it's safe and it's brand brand new and that nobody's played with it at the plant or Canada Post shipping or right kind of stuff. we didn't wash our face before what? we didn't wash our face before oh well we just so clean from the last video and it... this is a lovely pink color I don't like it you don't like the color? No. Mm. What if you make them like more tan colored? Does that make them look like, pastier? Why don't they make us look tan? I don't know. Maybe it, the way the it formulates with the kale and clay. Oh, they probably don't artificially color these, I guess. That so. would also make sense, yep. Yeah. Yeah, right. And the charcoal mask would be black, obviously, because of the charcoal. Back to the charcoal on it. So I guess if you used all three masks with a brush, you could really get some cool designs going on. You could. Yeah, you know that's maybe, coming your way. Maybe we should do a video <laughs> face painting.